Have you ever played around with pipelines in Power Platform? And have you wondered how you can share those with other people or how you can administer those? In this episode of the Low Code Revolution, Prabhat is here to tell us all about it. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the new episode of The Low Code Revolution. I'm here again with Prabhat, and we are going to talk about the pipelines again. We had our first episode about the overview, the second episode about the CLI commands and the architecture of the pipelines. And today, we are going to talk about the security of the Power Pipelines, Power Platform Pipelines. Hey, Prabhat, welcome to the show. Hello, everyone. And uh, I'm Prabhat Pandey. I'm engineering manager at uh, Power Apps, uh, leading the pipelines engineering team. And today I'm here to talk about pipeline security, talking about pipelines personas and how securities are modeled and what are the best practices so you can uh, configure your pipeline security in a much, much more robust and very various, like, scalable way. Yeah, we have seen a bunch of things about pipelines, of course. We saw how you can trigger pipelines, uh, both from the uh, portal as well as the CLI. And now we are going to deep dive a little bit deeper inside of the uh, security that you can have within the pipeline, right? So who can trigger uh, the pipelines, uh, who can administer the pipelines, uh, those kinds of things, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So let's deep dive here. So as you see here, there are three personas uh, that I previously also talked about. So we have pipelines admin who can configure pipelines quickly and they have full governance and visibility on the pipeline side. And then we have personas who are deploying the pipeline. Uh, we call them pipeline users. So they could be either citizen maker or they can be pro dev. So uh, citizen maker, using UI in the maker portal, they can deploy uh, their solution through the pipelines. And uh, pro devs, they can use PAC CLI to automate uh, deployment. Uh, both on the right side that you see, citizen devs and pro devs, they are pipeline user. And on the left side that you see, admins, they are the people who have uh, uh, full access on the pipeline environment and they are able to configure pipelines and they can set various rules and policies. A uh, little recap of uh, the table structure because this becomes important uh, when we configure these things. So on the left side, you see uh, pipeline administrator on the right side, pipeline user. So essentially, the way they operate with these tables, these security roles are divided. One is defining and configuring on the left side. On the right side, those personas are consuming the pipeline to deploy. So that is the reason there are two different uh, personas and two different roles. So let's double click a little bit more here. We'll start with pipeline users or makers. So they can read or access the shared pipeline. It's a maker role in the dev environment and also maker role in the test and prod. So makers who have access to the dev and the target environment, only they can really successfully deploy using the shared pipeline. So essentially same permission in the target. Uh, in future, we will have uh, delegated and on behalf of deployment model. But for now, uh, these makers need to have same access as in the dev in the prod as well to be able to deploy. So there's a role called deployment pipeline user. And essentially, uh, if you look into this role, uh, the definition, it has read deployment pipeline as a basic and also read deployment environment as a basic. So these are the two privileges assigned to this role. And the people who are assigned here, if the pipeline is shared, and there are some other advanced configuration as well, these users will have access to those pipelines and consume them in their dev environment. 
and deploy using those pipeline. Then we have a deployment pipeline administrator and that you see on the left bottom side. So they can create or read all pipelines primarily to manage the configuration of pipelines. That's the expectation. And this role has privilege to create deployment pipeline at a global level and privilege to read deployment pipeline at global level. So generally, people who have kind of some sort of administrative access, they, they don't need to be admin of pipeline host, but once they are part of this role, they can create, delete, manage, update, they can do many things for pipeline. So you can think of this role more geared towards ALM operation in the pipeline host environment. Yeah, so you don't have to be a system admin, but you can just be the uh, the pipeline administrator, right? That's right, yes, yes. And a little bit of recap on the global and basic, because sometimes it can be very, very confusing. So global means user have access to all records of that entity, regardless of who owns that record. And basic means they have access to the record that they own or record that have been shared with them. So this, this, these two roles, they allow complete full flexibility, one to manage, another to consume in a very secure way. So let's talk about these roles a little bit and how you can simplify them further. So one way is go to those roles and assign all the maker or pipeline admins to those roles uh, in the PPAC admin center. Another one is to use some advanced configuration capabilities that we have and uh, 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 define the team uh, and a team of type AD security group and use that to configure your uh, uh, security group and aid uh, users over there. All right, so we have security team concept as well, and that simplifies the security configuration of pipelines a lot. So you can create security teams to share pipelines to group of maker instead of sharing them with individual makers. And then user gets access because the record is shared with the team and the user, since they are part of that team, they get the access. This avoids a lot of sharing that you have to do. Okay, so this can be done by creating teams and adding, adding right AD security group over there. And I'll explain it like how that's done uh, with a little bit of more detail. So you can go to admin power platform, microsoft.com, define the team here. For example, in this case, I have defined administrator and pipeline users as two AD team. And the details are shared on the right side. Uh, what's important here is you choose the team type. In this case, it's AD security group. And then in that security group uh, in Azure portal, you go and assign these uh, uh, people as part of those teams. Yeah, so this is really can... nice. This is really nice to make sure that um, you are managing a group in the place where a lot of organizations already administer mm -hmm. groups, right? So yes. you kind of make sure that they don't have a separate portal again to, to administer groups. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very simple. You can create these yeah. groups per pipeline, or you can create for like you know all these makers. They have access to all the pipelines, so that that becomes much simpler to administer and control. Yeah, yeah, and these are ways the security groups can be defined. So you can go to portal azure.com, and then you can define these AD groups there. You can add the members, and you can do many things over there. It's much simpler. All you have to do is get the ID of this group and copy it uh, when you are creating your team. So let me uh, share a little bit uh, in action how these things are done. So I'm here in the admin center and uh, I have control so host. And you will see on the right side, security roles, teams, and users. So 
let's go to one of the security role here and see what we have over there. So a uh, lot of security roles. Let's go to deployment admin and then deployment user. All right, here. So I have deployment administrator here. You will see there are few people who are directly added here. And then I have this pipeline administrator. And let's see what we have got here. So nothing like you, know, you can either add or, de uh, or delete here, but I will go and talk about the teams later on. And similarly here on the deployment user side, uh, you will have, there are a few users added and there is also security group called pipelines users maker. So these are the security roles we have. And then you can also have teams. So for example, uh, these are the teams that I have defined. And these are the two teams that, that are added uh, into the security role. One is administrator, another is maker. So let's look into what the definition looks like. And I have shared that a little bit before. So it's a team type AD security group. And uh, uh, here is the uh, uh, more detail. It's like a members and guest type information. And then similarly, for this as well, uh, we have the detail here. It's also AD security group type. Now let's look into, hey, what all I have got here. So like you can perform some additional operations here, but like managing the team members and uh, uh, additional uh, uh, detail that you can directly do on the AD side. So uh, here, for example, uh, I have this group and like uh, these are the people uh, who are part of that group uh, defined. So uh, I can go to groups and uh, uh, do like whatever is needed. So for example, if I go to administrator here, uh, I will see a bunch of detail here and then I can go and edit members and uh, 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 manage things from here. So this makes much simpler. Once you define it and then share it with the team, it's always there. So if I go here, uh, to my pipeline, and for example, this pipeline I have defined, I can share this pipeline with the team that I had created, and that becomes much, much easier. So let's see how to do that part. All right, it's already shared with all the pipeline uh, uh, users maker. So anytime uh, I have to add a new maker, all I have to do is go to Azure portal, and in the right group, add the new member. And this pipeline is shared with them. Yeah, that's it. That's easy. Absolutely. So we talked about uh, overview of the security configuration, advanced security configuration. Uh, so call to action. Uh, try the advanced security configuration of pipelines using the AD security group. That makes life much easier. You can have it per pipeline or you can have a, a, a common team that you can share with all the pipeline. So for example, hey, certain makers, they have access to all the pipelines uh, that way you can share with them. Share once and then uh, uh, you can manage it externally outside. It makes life much simpler. Okay. Well, great, Prabhat. Thanks for the whole overview of the security. I think this will help a lot of people to share the pipelines in a, a very nice way, uh, instead of just adding it one by one, for instance, uh, because I think the group uh, sharing is way mm -hmm. better than just an in individual one. Um, so, uh, yeah, with that, we are at the end of the uh, episode. So thanks, Prabhat. And to all the viewers, um, make sure to check out all the links that are in the video description. And I hope to see you at the next episode of the Low Code Revolution. Yeah.